Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to World Gospel Broadcasting Network. I am your brother in Christ, Abanda Edwin, broadcasting from Cameroon. Thank you for being part of this program today. I will be talking about way forward in Cameroon. Dear brothers and sisters, the Church of Christ recently some years back celebrated 50 years in Cameroon. It was a 50 years of mourning, not a celebration at all. One cannot say it was a jubilee because there was nothing virtually to jubilate about. We cannot jubilate when we see numerous congregations collapsing and closing down day by day. We cannot jubilate when we see brothers and sisters worshiping in an conducive environment. We cannot celebrate when many preachers live like pigs in the fence. We cannot celebrate when preachers are relegated behind and live hand to mouth with no square meal per day. We cannot jubilate when preachers can no longer focus on the work of God because they are busy doing other things because they want to survive. We cannot celebrate when missionary work in Cameroon has been a misfocused. The way forward now is a sanitization of the Church of Christ. It's a real look and a reboot in activities in Cameroon. Every day, I get calls from every corner, crying that there is no worship hall. So it is even getting up now. Up to about 90% of congregations in Cameroon don't have a permanent building, worship hall of their own. Congregations keep migrating from one corner of the town to the other. They are being tossed and relegated behind like people who have missed their way. But join together like as though we are so poor more than any other denomination. The worst of all is that in Cameroon, the Church of Christ has no hospital. At least some few Bible schools and maybe two Christian schools owned by individuals. When we look at Ghana and other parts of Africa, we see schools and hospitals named after the Church of Christ. Church of Christ High School, Church of Christ Nursery School, Church of Christ Secondary School, Church of Christ University, named to give glory to Christ and to continuously use it as a medium of evangelism. It is only the greedy nature that reigns within Cameroon that institutions are mis channeled so that the individual owns them for his own personal gain and for the aggrandizement of wealth for himself and his family. Oftentimes it is preached that they don't have love for worldly things, earthly things, because they are temporal, and let's keep our treasures above. But day by day we see how people amass wealth for themselves, that they will soon leave the world and I'll leave them here. The system of the American missionaries who work with a particular person and after that still continue with the son or family is very bad and should be condemned and unacceptable. Certain preachers were very good when they were doing their work, but their children have become very wayward. And since the missionaries were working with their father, continue with the son, the son has rather become a drowning money-making machine instead of being productive. He has rather become a tool of the devil against the church of Jesus Christ. Where are we heading to? And that was the why that was the more reason why I said if we start allowing institution to be to be to be owned by the church and let bots be the one to manage the better. Many heads are better than one. And even if one want to misdirect, he will be corrected. Dear brothers and sisters, how can we be happy that the church has been in this country for about 50 years? And today, we cannot boast that every division in this country has 
a constructed building of a church of Christ. It is a shame. And some people should be weeping and crying for the damage they have caused to the church of Christ. They have stained the church until it is smelling. They have made the church to be in the community as though it's one of the new churches that is just coming. When the church has been here. But they have never had a working strategy that is progressive and heavenly minded. We must understand the times. We must understand the times. There is no way you can stand and say, church building does not matter. It matters. All the nominations around us here in Bakery, where I am, they have constructed and they are in their worship hall. We are the only people renting. And how long are we continuing to be renting? We are not only lose Christians, potential converts to Christ, but even the integrity of the church is at stake. Dear brothers and sisters, how realistic are we in the missions we are carrying out in Africa and in the mission that we are doing for the Lord? It is time to start getting lands for the church, buildings for the church, so that Christians can freely worship God with no landlords troubling them or neighbors trying to disturb during worship. If there is any missionary in this country who does not think as such, he is a mismatch in this country and should rather live than sit and hold others who have come to do a better job. It is time that we become progressive. Let us know that this church can do better if we can change our strategies. Many people are only putting by institutions that they can quickly scratch some small money from there. We have cried on the issue of a radio station. We have cried on the issue of television station for Africa. If you, that you are getting me wherever in the world, if you are a media guru and you are somebody who loves media preaching, then it is time for you to come. Let's join together. Let's do something for Africa. The nominations are gaining ground day by day because they have put down plans and strategies that are workable because they understand the time and they are united and strong. The divisive tendencies in this church and the so-called misappropriation of autonomy has become one of the retarding and the progressive tool in the church of Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, it is a time for us to stand up. Anytime I open my radio, I will hear the Catholic speaking. I will hear the Baptist speaking. I will hear the Presbyterian speaking. I will hear numerous Pentecostal radio stations in town. But I can't hear the Church of Christ. When I switch my TV on, I get to see so many denominations on the satellite. And you hear people talking in one corner or the other of how they heard the preaching through the satellite, through the radio. Why can't we for once take those same strategies and preach the right gospel? How we do house to house. When we move to the house and people are busy and many people watch during the evening before they sleep and you cannot do evangelism in the night. So we must think and think progressively. The way forward for us in Cameroon is to start to be united, to be sympathetic, to be passionate, to love one another, to care for one another, do unto others what you want them to do unto you. Some people think that as they are up there, we should be bound down, we should be kneeling. As they are eating, others can then die. They don't care for others. Preachers are so afraid. I'm talking like this, I am crying, I'm weeping. It's a sad situation. Oftentimes, what is it being called support? Eh? Cannot even pay a house rent. Cannot even pay a beast. You cannot. You can't even buy a shoe. So what is happening? And we have worthy brothers and sisters in the Church of Christ throughout the world. And there are some people out there who are looking for where they can invest. Can you come to Cameroon? Come to Cameroon and invest in the in the in the Church of Jesus Christ. Come here and put schools. Come here and put hospitals. Come here and put in assets that will 
take people to heaven. The apostles were moving, preaching and healing people. And we cannot undermine the importance of hospital as far as healing, preaching and healing the people through the hospitals. So it is time for us now to start looking on how we should move forward. The, the, the lacking of this aid in this country has taken the church of Christ backward instead of forward. And we must acknowledge that. And we must accept that. It is time for us to get up from our sleep and slumber. It is time for us to start knocking every door. To start asking for them to think of Cameroon and to invest in Cameroon. To invest in Africa. To start looking on how we can progressively bring more souls into the kingdom. Mindful of the time. Our children are going to denominational school being intoxicated there. Can we have schools? That are run by the Church of Christ with this doctrine interwoven to train our children. Dear brothers and sisters, something needs to be done and done fast. This is my humble appeal. This is my humble appeal. Let us do something and do it fast for the Church of Jesus Christ. Teachers are virtually suffering, congregations are with. No beauty. These are the two cardinal things that need to be. They have to start with the preachers and their well being, the congregation, and where they have to worship. So, if preachers are well catered for and congregations are constructed building where they can worship, I think from there we can start moving forward for good. Think about it. Nothing is too hard, nothing is too difficult. It is for us now. To relook and restructure the way we walk, and it shall be well. God bless you. Thank you for listening to World Gospel Broadcasting Network. I am my banda doing. Bye bye, and God bless you.